So this will just give you an idea how bad this is. And the sail, look at that. But this is a common problem on these transit connects. And uh, with all the salting that goes on in the winter time on our roads, we're getting to see a lot more of this in the last number of years. And even brake caliper seizing and so on, which never used to really happen around here. But back to this job, I will cut a section out of this. I'll um, get the paper disc grinder as well, clean that all up to the solid part, make sure um, that I cut out any bit that has the corrosion in it. And then it'll be about plating up the full section, welding it in place and uh, filling, after filling um, it will be schutzing, uh, schutz is like a body sealer um, and once the body sealer is done then it keeps it nice and locked in from that not happening again and we'll be painting, painting over that then. So that's the plan with this one, it'll take some time but afterwards it will be like brand new and this is the only part of the part of the car that has this issue I've looked all over the other underside of it and it's very solid so it's just this material here that has the issue so tools I'll be using to start off paper disc and a grinder grind it grind it back and then we have the thin cutting disc when we want to cut out uh, the section that we require but first I'm going to peel back the paint and see which parts um, need to be cut out. See, this is all the bad stuff along here. So it's no good welding that. You need to cut above that section to make sure we take out all the rot. And as you can see, this part here is perfect. So this is the area the joint will be in. Uh, it just started to clean part of the section down here. So it's looking like it'll be along here and across here that's going to be the section that we'll be we'll be repairing so it's pretty much just clean up all the base of this to make it easy to weld as you can see a lot more cleaning has been done gonna cut this section out down here all the way along up along here and then We'll come across there, and that is the plate that will be going in. I will be using this uh, air cut off tool, so it's a three and a half inch disc grinder to start the cuts. I'll be cutting there first. piece is now cut out in that section 
and as you can see the inside <coughs> is solid so the only issue was with this section here now make sure that you cut out enough so that there is no corrosion within in the steel um, I'm going to prime all the inside for extra security um, I will tape this off prime all in there just to give it that extra bit of safety that uh, we don't have any issues like this years down the line next stage is get pieces that fit this and prime on the inside there section is now masked off and ready for primer it's cleaned up all in here um, all of that's just surface rust so I've done a bit of sanding uh, blown out clean it and now it's ready for a good shot of primer inside in that area so three coats of uh, high build fast drying primer and um, I use the as I'm not doing this particular section in the oven uh, I just use the heat gun and a bit of infrared to help the drying process next step in this is to uh, make the plate which i've already started this piece here is uh, out of a wing um, perfect for this exact same thickness and all so i've started to shape it already and um, i've cut it the idea will be it'll sit up there like that and then it'll be pulled down so that'll be the piece I will probably split this in two do this section first and then press down on the other section and do that starting to take shape now I've cut this piece in half so it'll be coming from the inside out that'll be pressed all the way to the edge like, like so weld it all the way along there and then it'll be joined up to this side here and a butt weld put along that one first round of welding done i have a clamped up here to keep it nice and tight um just tidied it up a little bit with the die grinder when you're welding and you want to tidy up if it's a mig welder i'm using so this is the tool i'm using to grind down you can also use a grinding disc on the angle grinder. First plate is now welded in place. Just lining up the second piece here. So we'll be welding this. And then lastly, it'll be a butt joint there. It's pretty much a continuous weld all around there. Fiberglass fillers will be rubbed along that edge. All the way along there. Body fillers and then sealer. finally beginning to see what it's going to look like now nice and solid on both sides all welded around small bit more tidying up needed but not much okay so I've got the first round of fiberglass fillers on and it can be hard to visualize if you're not used to looking at what the finish will start to look like but um, after the first round of fiberglass that's on after the first round of fillers is applied it's very easy to see what it'll be like you can really start to see it take shape and uh, you know that the hard work on this side is over so i've already given that uh, a shot of heat so i'll let that dry and uh, set completely i am now going to switch to the other side and start to work on that i'm not really going to document the other, other side too much because it's the exact same uh, as this side two rounds of fiberglass put on uh, this is the second round of the body filler so it's an easy sand body filler that i'll be using the finish on um, probably take maybe one more one more round to bring it up on a little spot just sand this down, apply more, and then this sh this side uh, should be done. There you can see, 
Finland came out nice, sealer came out nice. When the sealer is going on, panels need to be heated, so we have infrared lamps that we uh, that we hold on, that we set up on stands basically, and uh, heat heat these areas um, before applying the sealer because it needs to be uh, a good a good temperature to make sure you have decent adhesion all around. The reason we are using the lamps on this and not in the uh, booth is because we don't need to run the oven just to do this. Um, we will be putting it in the uh, spray booth and making sure it's up to the proper temperature for spraying and baking come painting time.